rob a Jew. One by one, they were arraigned this afternoon. Four suspects charged in the assault and attempted robbery of a Hasidic 19-year-old, a crime that, according to police, was not a random act of violence. This individual was specifically targeted because he was Jewish. Police have arrested 18-year-old Stanley Joseph, 19-year-old Quasi Williams, and 20-year-old Jennifer St. Amand, who they say was driving the getaway car. A fourth man, Marco Blandino, is accused of providing the weapon used in the assault. The story of Nazi persecution on British soil has never been fully told. Though they are British, the Channel Islands of Jersey, Guernsey, and the smaller island of Alderney lie just eight miles from France. And in May 1940, Hitler has almost all of Europe in his grip. His next aim, the invasion of mainland Britain, is a daunting task. But one part of Britain is vulnerable. And on the 28th of June, the Luftwaffe bombed Jersey and Guernsey, targeting harbors, killing 44 civilians. The surrender is a national humiliation for Britain. Nazi propaganda newsreels fully exploit images of British police working for their new Nazi superiors. But what Hitler's propaganda machine doesn't show the world is the brutal side of Nazi occupation. Forced laborers from all over Europe were sent here. Effectively, they were slaves. They were made to build these structures they lived in terrible conditions, confined to camps, they were beaten, they were tortured, they were fed very little, they had barely any clothing. The island of Alderney still lives with the legacy of Nazi rule. It starts innocently enough. The young man on the right thinks he's going to sell his iPhone to the guy who's next to the car, but it unravels quickly. The fake buyer pulls a gun and forces him into the business where he works part-time. It gets worse. The gunman has an accomplice. You see him walking into the parking lot and joining the gunman inside. Then for 15 terrifying minutes, you see the gunman ordering the 16-year-old around the facility where electronics are stored for sale through Amazon. They start grabbing everything in sight, all the while keeping a gun pointed at the neck of the frightened teen. It's heartbreaking, yeah. It's um, a lot of nerves. Debbie Marcus runs the business and says the devastated 16-year-old has not been able to return to work. It was very, it was a very traumatizing experience for him. She says her internet company lost thousands and thousands of dollars worth of phones, tablets, and cameras. It seemed like they planned it out for a little bit. And it didn't end with the pricey merchandise. The gunman even forced him to turn over a leather prayer wrap used in the Jewish religion. And finally, even had him take off his shirt to steal. Very nervous for the uh, company because they set us back a little bit. They took everything but left behind their images. Here's a closer look. The gunman is wearing a gold embroidered New York Yankees baseball cap. His shirt has distinct white and gold logos and designs. The other thief is wearing a black and gray baseball cap, a sleeveless shirt over a long sleeve t-shirt, jean shorts and athletic shoes. A couple of crooks that left a business in shambles and a teenager shattered.